Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some volcano updates. So, the earth is shaking again and it's shaking violently. Just today, the Icelandic civil defense has raised the alert level on the peninsula and given some vital recommendations to people that live closest to the earthquake's origin. People should take valuable and heavy things off shelves, especially those who might hit someone's head. In this earthquake swarm, there have been 9 earthquakes over 3 in magnitude and 3 over 4 in magnitude. I haven't felt any, unfortunately, but in this video, I'll look into the situation, what's causing it, and what could happen in the near future. So let's jump right in, is this magma? Well, most likely. This is very likely magma on the move at depth, as seen by the small uplift measured in the area that is Svartsenki. The uplift was only 15 mm at its peak during the latest measurements. The earthquake center is situated here, just northwest of the town of Grindavik. This makes the situation a little bit more serious due to the possible effects if an eruption occurs. But at the moment, the magma seems to be sat at 8 km below the surface, at its shallowest, based on the earthquakes. If you look at the earthquake table, you see that most of them are from 6 to 2 km deep. But that is due to the fault lines in the area, that are triggered due to the uplift. Later this month, we are expecting data from the INSAR satellites that take two pictures over a week apart and measure uplift. They should shed some light on the situation if an eruption isn't already imminent. So at the moment we don't have much data as the earthquake swarm just began today. We don't even know for sure if it's caused by a new magma intrusion, but there's a lot pointing towards it. Just for some comparison, here are the last three weeks of earthquake activity on the peninsula. You can see how it's been steadily increasing which is weird compared to the last two intrusions, which just came out of nowhere. But this is all the data we have on this earthquake swarm. There's uplift, it's definitely powerful, and it's most likely a new magma intrusion. I also have to talk a little bit about the giant earthquake that struck yesterday. At 4.8 in magnitude, even I could feel it, which are big news. It wasn't related to the activity near Grindavik though, at least not directly. It was instead due to plate movements, transform plate boundaries to be specific. That is when the plates are wrapping together. But there are two such areas in Iceland, Söderlands Brotabeltið and Tjörunesa Brotabeltið. The largest earthquakes measured in Iceland originated from these areas, and this 4.8 magnitude one is not the one we've been waiting for. We're still waiting for a beast over 6 in magnitude. So that's all the data for today. What could happen in the near future? Well, I think this new earthquake swarm will continue like the ones back in March of 2021 and December that same year, which were both due to magma intrusions. Since this is most likely a magma intrusion, it will probably behave the same. It's not starting off as powerful as the last two, but who knows, it might pick up tomorrow. It's just a waiting game with this limited data we have at the moment. So I'm just gonna have to end this on the classic, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video and thanks for watching.